Okay, this is the last of the introduction to Music Prodigy videos. Uh, we're going to talk about how to complete your rhythm sequences. So this home screen should be pretty familiar by now. We're going to click on the rhythm sequence and then open the rhythm one folder. And we'll start by performing this rhythm 1.1 duple. You'll notice there's only one button, no soprano, alto, tenor, and bass parts. That's because all singers will perform the same rhythm. So now we're in the practice screen once again. All the controls on the left-hand column are the same as they were for the tonal performance. Um, and I'd like to focus on the metronome, which is uh, crucial in practicing rhythm well, because it keeps the, a steady beat for you um, and keeps you honest. Here, you can turn the metronome off and back on, and you can also control the volume of the metronome. Uh, but in order to really take advantage of using a metronome while you practice, you need to be able to adjust the speed. So down here at the bottom of the screen, you'll see it says BPM 72. BPM in this case stands for beats per minute. So BPM equals 72 means that the metronome is clicking slightly faster than one beat per second. Now you notice there's no way to change this. If I click on it, I can't do anything. Um, and that's because I'm in assessment mode. So in assessment mode, the tempo is locked in because I'd like you to be able to perform this rhythm at a specific tempo. But if you'd like to practice it slower or faster, just click into practice mode and you'll see that now you have a slider where you can adjust this, the tempo to be faster with a higher BPM or slower with a lower BPM. So once you find a speed that is comfortable for you for practicing, let's say I'm, I'm going to try 61 beats per minute, uh, I'm going to click play and perform this. Do, 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 do. Do, do, day. Now you'll see I, I got a 10 out of 13, 77%. If you were following along, I felt like I did better than that. I, I would say that it was closer to 95 or 100%. <clears throat> and that's not just because my ego is inflated. Um, so if I save this score, I'm going to show you what happened here. So this 77 that I got, if I click on the report, you'll see in this practice session that it marked these notes wrong. Um, and that's because it, th it thought that I came in early on this note, um, it thought that I performed on a rest, and it thought that I came in early on this note as well. So the sometimes you'll run into this situation where ambient noise in the room um, will get picked up by the microphone and, and it will think that you are performing that rhythm um, when you actually aren't. It might be somebody stepping into the room. Um, it might be a door closing, you know, uh, behind you. And in order to try to mitigate those circumstances, this is why using headphones is so crucial, especially when you're practicing rhythm. Um, but to ease your concern, the best solution to that problem is if you find yourself practicing over and over and over, and this keeps happening, the best thing that you can do to determine whether the problem is just environmental or equipment related, or if you're, if you're really missing a rhythm because you don't understand it, then what you should do is, is submit a recording by doing the rhythm in assessment mode. So if you go back and do that, which I'll do right now, Do, 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 day, do, 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 day. 
Okay, so you see I, I did even worse this time. I got a 62%. Uh, but if I save that score, it will give me this readout. Uh, it'll give me the report, which I will also be able to see from the teacher side of things. I'll click on that. And then I'll scroll down. And while looking at this, and this is exactly what I would do in my office, I'll also play this recording. Do, 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 day, do, 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 day. Okay. And I would conclude that there was nothing wrong with that performance. That would be 100% accurate as it comes down to this duple rhythm. If you were listening really closely, even though I have earbuds in and I'm using a microphone, um, there was still a little bit because I was close to the microphone. The, the metronome click was still getting picked up through the microphone. And so that's where some of these errors may have come from. Um, but like I said, me being a human and not a computer, I can listen to this recording, conclude, yeah, that was great. And I would adjust your score accordingly on my side of things. So while that might be a little tedious, um, not a huge problem to overcome. Um, and overall, the, uh, the software is, is usually pretty good about picking these things up. So when in doubt, submit a recording. Again, recordings can only be submitted in assessment mode. And if this little ear icon is not showing up um, in the application, then that means I don't have any audio to listen to. Okay, so that concludes the fundamentals of Music Prodigy. Uh, if you have any questions, never hesitate to send me an email or set up a meeting if you're having te technical difficulties uh, and we can work through it. The application, while it has its little quirks, is really helpful in the practice process. Um, and especially for you and I to communicate um, through these sound and PDF files uh, to track your progress and see how you can improve outside of ensemble choir rehearsal. Okay, thanks for checking out these videos and happy practicing.